Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. Uh, this is intended to be a second uh, video here on how to calculate the potential difference between two points in a circuit. So, you know, this is very similar to the first video I made on this. I just, you know, threw a couple, uh, threw, threw a little curveball in here. So the circuit we're looking at, it's got a 24 volt battery here, it's got a 6 volt battery here, and it's got the three resistors shown, this 5 ohmer, a 3 ohmer, and a 7 ohmer. And what we're going to try to do here is calculate the potential difference between points A and B in the circuit. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to know uh, about the currents going through all the resistors here. So you'll notice we've got this 24 volt battery again creating a clockwise current as defined by positive charge carriers in the circuit. I'm going to go ahead and put a current in this direction, just call it I. And that current is going to be the same through here, this way over here, this way over here. Now one thing to realize, this is not connected. So we can't have any current in this branch because the charge doesn't have anywhere to go. Same thing here, this is not connected right here so there can't be any current in this branch. So this problem really only has one current in it. Uh, just like in my last video, I'm gonna go ahead and define a, or put a ground in it. So I'm gonna actually call this the zero potential. You don't have to do that in these problems, I just like to do it. We can work this perfectly fine without ever defining a ground, but um, by defining a ground here, though, what we're saying is we're calling the potential in this location zero. That's going to be good anywhere in this part of the circuit. I'm going to go ahead and color code the other potentials. So I'm going to call this potential my red potential. That's going to be good to this point. Again, that's all conducting material. When we go across the resistor, we'll definitely get a potential change, a potential drop. I'm going to go ahead and color code this in orange. That will be good anywhere we got conducting material. So that's good up to this point. Now we're going to get a potential change here, but now you'll notice that we're, we're to our zero potential, which is already colored black. An important thing to realize, there's no current in this part of the circuit because this is not closed. There's nowhere for the charge to uh, go. And if there's no current, there's therefore no change in potential across this resistor. However, this is a battery. We're going to get a potential uh, change across these leads uh, whether there's current or not. So this is going to be a different potential. I'm going to go ahead and color code this one yellow. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and use a Kirchhoff's loop equation with this outer loop here to calculate the current. So I'm going to start here and go around clockwise and I'm just going to go ahead and write that equation out reasonably quick putting NCU for note consistent units. So we're going to have plus 24 volts when we come across this, minus 5I when we come across that resistor, minus 7I as we come across this resistor, and we're back to where we started, so equals zero. I'm going to go ahead and solve this for the current. So we're going to have, uh, let's see, I is going to be 24 volts over 12 ohms. Um, it's going to work out to be 2 amps. So we got a 2 amp current in this problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually assign values to all the different uh, potential differences. So our red potential here, and I, I guess I'll call it potential red, all right? Well, imagine starting at zero, but when we go across the battery, we're going to increase by 24 volts. So the potential there is going to be plus 24. Now, when we go across this resistor, we are going to drop in potential by an amount I, R. So that's going to drop us by 10 volts. So our orange potential is going to be 14 volts. And again, that's 24 minus 10. That's the IR term across here. That 14 volts is good anywhere that's orange in this circuit. Now, when we go across here, we're going to drop by um, an amount IR. And you'll notice that's a drop by 14 volts. And you notice if you start at 14, drop by 14, you're now at zero, which is good because remember, we called this zero potential. Now, when we go across this resistor, again, there's no change in potential there because um, there's no current through that resistor. When we go from here to here, however, we're going to be increasing the potential by 6 volts, so that yellow potential is plus 6 volts. 
So the difference in potential between A and B, oops. Well, there's a couple ways to get it. You know, one, I can imagine starting at A and, and moving over to B, but I'm just gonna do this. It's gonna be potential B minus potential A. Potential B was 14 volts. Potential A was six volts. So we get plus eight volts for the potential difference between A and B. Now, you know, in every class I teach, I always ask the question, which point is at the higher potential? Well, you'll notice, you know, when I took potential B minus potential A, we got a higher, you know, we get a positive value. So B is at the higher potential. So that's the potential difference between uh, A and B. I hope this video helps demonstrate how to uh, calculate potential difference in a simple circuit. Have a great day.